Hey guys, this is just a quick video for those that have picked up the Starlink mini mounts for the Super Pacific campers. Uh, this is one right here. And this is not meant to be a entertainment style video, but more of an instructional video uh, showcasing how this is installed on the roof of the camper. Um, yeah, these are pretty cool. And the angle of the mount matches the camper when it is open. So um, yeah, this is for those guys. Thanks for everyone else checking it out. Um, but yeah, again, not, not an entertainment video, more of an instructional. Thanks guys. Okay, so we've got everything we need for the installation. Five millimeter Allen wrench. Got the mount, got the hardware in there. Bolt, washer, and T, T nut. What you're gonna wanna do, some of the campers have this foam inserted in here. Um, you're gonna wanna tear out a little section. Um, you really only need it to be the width of the mount. Uh, I tore out more than I needed, so don't worry about that. You're gonna wanna mount the mount on the rear side of the camper. That is the only place it's compatible with. It can be anywhere from the left to the right. I recommend having it over to one or the other side. Uh, the reason for that is for your wiring so it's not coming straight down out of the back of the roof if you have it on the side then you can kind of run it either down the length of the side or you can um, have it just come down the corner and that'll look fine so you're going to want to line up the t nuts so that they drop in to the slot I like to have mine over to the right. And then when you begin to turn the nut, uh, you'll see the nut in there rotate. You want it to be perpendicular to the slot so that it can't pull out. What I like to do is um, get it so that it is facing this direction and then apply some upward tension on it to kind of lock it into place as you tighten uh, the nut, or sorry, the bolt. Uh, kind of a two-handed thing. I'm doing it with just one hand. And yeah, you'll want to tighten that down. Make sure it's nice and tight. Doesn't have to be crazy tight. Um, and then we've got the TPU gasket on there as well. That helps with gripping the Starlink and preventing your bolts from getting clamped too tight down onto the actual mount itself. Once that's done, we can move on to the next step, which is actually mounting the Starlink and using it. All right, so we got the new Starlink mounts for the Starlink Mini. So the Mini actually comes with these clip-in pipe adapters, which uh, previously you had to pay extra for these. So uh, that's really cool. Uh, it just it just it clicks in just like that. And so the mount that we have for the Super Pacific Camper up here will be able to work perfectly with this. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get it plugged into power. So I'm going to do that real quick. So you want to go ahead and run the wiring in and just plug it in. And then clip that back on. Uh, it's going to be a little hard to see that there is a blue light that indicates power there that's how you know it's booting up so what you're going to want to do is hop up on the roof of you can stand on your tailgate and you're just going to want to hop up and place the dish on the flat surface like such and while it's booting up 
we'll go ahead and hop into the screen. So what you're going to want to do is essentially get uh, get it up and connected, as you can see here, and then you're going to want to uh, go down in the menu and click on alignment. So with the Starlink sitting on the flat surface up here, it's just sitting as is, you can rotate it left and right until it says aligned. And then what you're going to want to do is just look in the distance. What's it pointed at? For me, it's that telephone pole over there. And so I'm going to go ahead and now take the dish, place it on the mount with it aimed at that telephone pole in the distance so that when we pop the lid, it's going to be pointing directly the right way. So you want to just make sure the little set screw, this will be hard to do with one hand, is open. And you're just going to place it right on the mount, like such. And again, you're going to want to aim it at what you found was aligned. And go ahead and tighten the set screw. Solid. Now you're going to, there is a little gasket on this mount, a little TPU gasket, so you'll feel it kind of squishing in, but you don't have to torque that down. It's on pretty solid. And now, once you're ready, you can go ahead and pop the lid, and your dishy will be aimed in the correct spot. Now I'm out here in a parking lot because I've got a tree in my driveway, so I wanted to make sure I could do it good. But this is a rough idea of what it's going to look like up top. Give you a quick little walk around. Now obviously we are utilizing the rear upper T-track on the camper to be able to do this mount. Uh, you won't be able to use the side T-track uh, or, the, or the front because the dish will need to be able to freely rotate um, on the back side of that camper. So if you can imagine if we needed to rotate it sideways, it would hit if it was on the side. So that's kind of how we have to do that. Uh, I think it looks really good on the back side there. And since there's no mast, like the version 2, it's a much lower center of gravity. So this will work well in high wind situations uh, without really much, you know, needing to torque that set screw into place. And just for the purposes of this video, to kind of show you how it's working, I've taken the actual dish off, just kept the pipe mount here. But this gives you an idea of you know how that would look. And what I meant by you know it still having the ability to rotate uh, around. So it's a tight tight tolerance but doesn't hit in any direction. Um, again so this mount would need to be on the rear of the camper which is where you'd want it anyways because it is the kind of highest part on the camper so yep 